Hi everybody, it's Alan here. Um, this is a quick contest entry for Eric Weinbender and his show Me Your Pink. Now that's in relation to uh, his competition which is regarding kicking cancer's backside. Now all of us have to show 10 pink items. Now I've got his uh, details in front of me here and it can be vinyl records, CDs, cassettes, etc. He's going to give all his uh, <laughs> all his money, uh, $200 um, to charity, uh, $1 per entry, yeah. If he breaks total entries, he'll uh, donate $2 per entry, yeah, so a total of 200 Anyway, you all know the rules. I'm going to make this short because he's going to have so many to go through. And yes, I'm wearing pink. This is actually my wife's old blanket thing that looks like a sort of pink monk or something. I don't know what they call these, I've forgotten. But anyway, because you have to put it on your front and there's no back. Bizarre, just for sitting and lounging around. Anyway, let's crack on. Kicking cancer with a little bit of Ravel. There's not a lot of pink on here, but there is some. There we go. I'm going to show some different stuff, not all the records. Here's a classical one for you classical buffs. This is Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto Number no. 2, the most famous John Ogden. A nice bit of pink here. And from one extreme to another, Betty Boo. Where are you, baby? <clears throat> Absolutely classic little single. <sighs> Pop of a... Now that is pink. You might think we can get no more pink. I know we've seen Teenage Fan Club showing. Pink. Lots of pink. This is Three Trap Tigers. A kind of post-rock, psychedelic rock. A fairly new outfit a few years back. The Residence. Not really any pink here. But a fair bit of pink in their lighting on the stage show. This is an old bootleg from about 1970-71. Um, you can see who it is, Crosby and Nash. Quite a hard thing to find. They've kind of made it look really good by saying all rights paid and blue pearl label and everything. But it is uh, an original early 70s bootleg. Very famous album. Some girls, a little bit of pink. I don't think I've ever listened to that. <laughs> ah, another beautiful track, Groove is in the Heart, Delight. You know you're all singing it. Mind you, I don't know if this was big in America, but it was big over here. Can we get any more pink? The KLF, 3am Eternal. That's pink. Here's a nice one. An old 78 on Capital. A lovely old pink bag. This is Gene Vincent and his blue caps. A lot of loving and wear my ring. And this I found recently, I put it on Instagram. It's just a lovely item. This is actually a bag from a Madrid uh, record shop. And this is a little 45 sleeve, 45 bag that you take your single home. Lovely thing. A couple of DVDs. Big Little Lies. This was a really great series. Had you wondering till the end. I haven't risked series two because I'm sort of assuming that it's, hey, it's a hit, let's do something else with it. But that was really clever, really very good indeed. Noel Coward. A collection, lots of pink. A lot of his plays, dramatised short stories, different things like that. And uh, wonderful stuff of course, the real wit. A couple more. This is John Betjeman's first and last loves. So now he was a great poet, uh, he was poet laureate in this country. Um, this is a book on one of his other passions, which is architecture. 
uh, nice things, some nice little fold out pictures, etc. Et and finally, Diary of a Genius by Salvador Dali. Who would have it any other way? And she has my vision of a universe at the bottom of her back. Anyway, there you go. Support Eric. I mean, you know, we all know the guy. He's a big hearted and uh, generous fellow. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't too long. See ya.